You guys, I am an absolute nervous wreck right now. Oh my gosh. I have a little puppy on the way here. I'm adding to the wolf pack. I'm so excited. Elo's gonna have a little brother. Inky's gonna have a big brother. And ah! I can't wait for you guys to meet him. I Like my heart is racing so fast right now. He should be here probably within 10 minutes. Got him a little playpen kind of starting to set up. I need to put some other stuff in there, but Inky likes it in there. <laughs> She's going to be in for a surprise. By the way, I just realized when I just called her Inky, um, you guys, I never updated you guys on the little black kitten's name. I ended up calling her Inky because obviously she's black like ink, but it kind of relates to the beach with an octopus squirting ink, which is where she came from, was the beach. So I think it's the perfect little name for her. She's such a little sneaky inky and slinky sneaky inky. I can't wait to meet him, you guys. You guys, I'm having like a panic attack right now. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, he just got dropped off. I want to show you guys this puppy for the first time. He's so adorable. Come say hi. outside and we're gonna go meet your big brother Elo. we're so adorable oh my gosh he's so like cuddly and sweet for now Should I? yeah look at this little baby you little baby you're gonna meet your big brother for the first time are you excited are you nervous it's gonna hey Look what I got. Look what I got right here. Look what I got right here. It's okay. Look what I got. Look. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, he's scared. Is that your little brother? Oh, <laughs> the puppy's growling. What? Come here. Oh, he's scared. Are you scared? He's scared. Be nice. Hey, be nice. Why, why is this puppy growling? It's okay. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Elo, come here. Come here. It's okay. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys, this is not good. Come here, Elo. Come out this way. Come outside. Come outside. It's okay. Y'all are gonna be fine. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> yes, and that's your big brother. Yes, it is. Don't be a scaredy cat. That's your big brother. Good boy. Good boy. Do you like the puppy? That's a puppy. Yes, a big doggy and a puppy. There we go. Yes. Good. Good. That's going to be your best friend. What do you think, Buggy? Yeah? You want to play? <coughs> oh! You want to play? You want to play? Okay, it's okay. <laughs> it is okay. Wiggle butts, wiggle butts. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Future best friends for life.
Elo, be gentle. Be gentle, Bungie. Hey. <laughs> Be gentle. Be gentle, you crazy boy. Be gentle, he's a little baby. Woohoo! Little butterball. Just like you were. You were a little butterball, too. I did wash his bowl out, but that stuff didn't come out. But you could put water in it. I think it'd be just fun. Here's your mommy. Look at your mommy and you that little beast. Their noses were this close this morning. Oh my gosh, Sleep look at him together. when he sits like that. Oh, he's so pretty. Yes, you are. Yes, I'm so pretty, baby. You're a good boy too, honey. <laughs> it's the staring game Elo wants all of his toys he's a little jealous and Inky is just mesmerized Elo you have so many toys I just gave you a new squeaky and I just gave you this bone eat your bone and go get your squeaky those are his. Well, I, I feel like he hasn't really come out of his shell yet. But so far, it just seems like all he wants to do is cuddle and be held. <laughs> Look at Elo's butt. <laughs> Stretchy poo. Adorable. Let me see that pretty face. You're a pretty boy. Okay. You like him? He's a sweet boy, isn't he? Night two, last night went pretty well. Um, he woke me up at w midnight and then he slept until seven. And no accidents in the house so far, so, so far so good. But as you can see, he's definitely coming out of his shell. Um, Elo and the puppy are getting along <laughs> great. <laughs> Let go of me. Elo, be nice. Elo, be easy. Good boy. Ah. Elo, be easy. Be easy, Elo. Elo! <laughs> Look at his wiggle butt. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Good boy. Good boy, good pee pee. 
Good boy. Oh, good boy. Yeah. Woo. -hoo. Good boy. Okay, guys. I have to say, this puppy is literally like an angel. I have a really stuffy nose ever since I was sick with the dreaded C word. Um, it's so weird. I didn't have a stuffy nose when I had the C word, but ever since I've gotten over it, for some reason my nose is super stuffy now, but so just ignore that. But this puppy is literally like an angel puppy. He sleeps all through the night and he wakes me up in the morning around seven to go outside. He's so smart. And I mean, he's just so sweet. Like he doesn't really do anything wrong. He is starting to chew and bite a little bit, but that's expected because because he's teething. But look how adorable. He just looks like a little teddy bear. Here comes Inky. Inky loves this puppy. Look at this. They're both babies. <laughs> what is he? Is that Inky? Come see your brother. Come see your brother. You like the name Biscuit? I think it's kind of cute. Biscuit. Biscuit, Elo, and Inky. <laughs> what do you think, Bob? Here you go, boy. One big happy family. Guys, shaky. Can I get a shake? Shake. Ow! So tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Um, and today I am going to prep my turkey. The sun is like crazy. So tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I'm gonna prep my turkey that I got last year. It was like 23 pounds, I think. It was a pretty big turkey gobbler. So I'm gonna prep that today. Uh, we're gonna be having Thanksgiving at my grandma's house. I'm gonna prep it and then take it down there in the morning so she can actually cook it at her house in her oven. It's okay, you love. <laughs> She's trying to make a move. She likes the perch. Oh, that's so cute. Fun fact about Inky, she is a black cat, obviously, but she's got tabby markings. If you look at her right in the sun, you can see like her stripes, just like Frankie had, but they're really faint. Can't, they're not really showing up on camera. Well, there they are. You can kind of see the spots, almost like a leopard on her back. And she's got stripes, kind of like right there on her neck. She's a tabby in disguise. Mama P out here frying up the delicious Ugh, I wait for this every year. I don't know why we don't make this more than just Thanksgiving, but this is the infamous Thanksgiving turkey dressing. A lot of people say stuffing, dressing. Stuffing, it's called stuffing if it's the stuffing that you stuff the bird with. That's stuffing. This is dressing that you serve on the side. But that's debatable. Some people call this stuffing as well. But also some people bake 
stuffing or yeah. dressing in like a pan. I can put this in a baking pan. Yeah. And but tell them, tell dish. them what all's in there. Okay, this in here are Pepperidge Farm um, sage and herb little crouton like things that you get bread bread crumbs stuffing bag right yeah and uh, the deer heart I boiled it and cut it up celery onions oysters and I sauteed all of that and and your deer, deer liver. liver deer liver and I boiled that too with the deer heart and you chop all that up and I did saute the celery and the onion. A lot of poultry seasoning, thyme, sage, and black pepper. Yeah. So. And a, two sticks of butter. Mmm, it smells so good. And then the next day, uh, it was kind of dry looking for pattying up. So I did um, put almost a whole uh, box of chicken broth in it. And it moistened it up. So it's frying up very nicely. It patties up. It's delicious. You guys can go and check out this video of how to prepare this on my mom's YouTube channel. She filmed a video. Uh, what? <laughs> this is her kitchen. We're all just living in it. Especially when I'm, I'm like... She is still frying up these patties. Oh, they look so good. We've got some done. Here, multiple layered pan there. And I'm gonna steal one. I can't <laughs> help it. You wanna split it with me? I already had a corner of one. You did? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Look at that, you guys. It is full of iron, protein, just absolute deliciousness. Mmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm. I am definitely gonna make these in a video. So you guys, if you're interested in trying, especially if you hunt, if you hunt, you can get the deer heart and the liver. But if not, you could do without the deer heart and you could use like chicken livers or something and still it would be amazing. But also, if you hunt, these are great to take with you for a hunting snack. You just kind of put them, wrap them in a paper towel or put them in a Ziploc baggie and stuff them in your pocket. And they're even delicious cold. Like, they're just such protein-packed little patties. Absolutely delicious. Mmm! <laughs> I love it! I love Mowgli! Mow! <laughs> My mom's fried up some liver and onions. Yeah, I want to take a picture of that. All right, all right. Uh, and I'm about to get I started take a of that turkey. on the turkey, baby. All right, guys. Twas the night before Thanksgiving. That's what it is. And I'm about to prep my turkey. Not just any turkey. This is my wild turkey that I got last year. So it's been in the freezer. And I think, honestly, for the last couple of years, we have been eating my wild turkey for Thanksgiving because I'm the only one that gets a really nice turkey or any turkey at all. But, shh. Ah, we'll be up. I love him. He's probably going to want to be going out again soon. I'm filming Dad for my turkey prep. You want to say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> So I was telling them how this is gonna be my turkey prep for my wild turkey that I got last year. And um, to be honest, I don't think I've ever fully cooked a turkey for Thanksgiving by myself. Um, usually my mom kind of takes control in some way. So this is all me. Yes, baby. Look at this. This is huge for a wild turkey. You guys, it like hardly fits in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> Slather the whole bird in some butter. Can't go wrong. 
I'm back. My turkey is all butter, buttered up <laughs> and looking yummy. So next, um, before I get to what I'm stuffing inside of this turkey, I'm going to season the outside. Obviously I've got butter everywhere and I'm gonna just use some poultry seasoning. So funny story, I had, when I, when I, when I cut this turkey up after I harvested it, um, I did not, like I said, I, I didn't pluck it, I skinned it, and I left like a really good portion of the neck on just because it was kind of easier to carry that way. So when I pulled it out of the freezer and it had thawed, the neck was still maybe like this long on it. <laughs> And the whole thing was black and it did not look very appetizing at all. So I cut that off and I tried to like cut it off with scissors, but I broke the scissors and I I just had to like hack the neck off. Not very appetizing, but delicious. And then I'm going to do just lightly, just kind of lightly dust it on there just for an extra little flavor. Um, some of this Everglades seasoning, this stuff is really good on wild game and all sorts of stuff. So I'm just gonna do like super light amount of that. This, my mom showed me this. She's been doing this for years. Um, a package of the Lipton onion soup mix. We put this on our roasts too, when we do um, venison roasts. So good. Elo, I left the room for a moment and Elo jumped up on the counter and I had my butter sitting here and he he put an entire half of a stick of butter in his mouth and was about to like gobble it up. So I grabbed it out of his mouth. I didn't use that half of the stick of butter on the turkey, but <laughs> Okay. Well now you guys can barely see it and it barely fits in this pan so if it were up to me i don't know if i would use this bag method or not i'm not a fan so far but supposedly it really helps keep the turkey moist lipton onion soup mix packet is just going to be sprinkled <clears throat> right on top i've got an onion two apples and some herbs i've got sage thyme and rosemary and secret ingredient. These are some muc muscadine grapes that were picked from the grapevines outside. I thought the juice from those would be absolutely delicious. It's almost like adding wine. I may have cut too many apples. Let's see. more rosemary, some more sage, some more thyme. Oh my gosh, it's smelling delicious. Some more onion. Some apples. Grapes. Doggone, you little booty. Hey, look. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. More herbs. Are you still filming? Yep. Oh, my goodness. It's looking delicious, if I must say so myself. Mm -hmm. Delicious. No nobody can ever do a wild turkey like your mom. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> okay. Look, Dad. I'm putting apples, onions, muscadine, grapes, and herbs inside. Don't forget now. Do you want to eat taste some of the wild turkey? Oh, come on now. There's a lot of meat there. Full of 
apples, muscadine grapes, herbs, and onions. Oh, I think that I had to put it in the bag so soon because you guys can't see it. I mean, yeah, chicken broth. And I'm just gonna pour it straight on the bottom. I'm gonna be sure to get a video of it coming out of the oven tomorrow when we get it out of the bag so that you guys can see what it actually looks like um, and see it in all of its Thanksgiving wild turkey day glory. So I'll see you guys then, I'm exhausted and I will see you in the next one. Brotherly love. Oh. oh, you're such a good big brother. Yes, you are. You put up with all those shenanigans. <gasps> Ow! Oh my gosh. Ow. Ow. Oh my god, I thought he just ripped my ear with my earring. <sighs> it is Thanksgiving! Headed over to the farm to let the doggies run and it's been a while since Elo's been able to go over there because of hunting season and it'll be Mowgli's first time running so I'm super excited and yeah then after that I'm headed home to change and then straight to my grandma's to literally chow down on so much good food I'm so excited oh okay are you ready you ready go Come on, Mugs. Come on. Come on, Mugs. Come here. You want to come out? Ew. <laughs> so cute. My little Mugs. Hey, there's Elo. So I didn't have um, Elo's orange, blaze orange vest for him to put on, and it is still hunting season, rifle season. What? So, oh, he found a squeaky! Look what he got! He got a toy! You better go get it! So I tied um, a red sheets bag, like grocery bag, or whatever they're called, plastic bag around his collar. <laughs> So that's what those little ribbons are. Yo, were you scared? Were you scared? You little scary cat. Your little paws are wet. You like it over here? I'm gonna be a farm dog? Yes, sure. I'm gonna be a good farm dog. Yes, you are. Mm. I'm gonna be a good farm dog. Yes, you are. I'm gonna be a good farm dog. Ouch. Ouchie pouchie. Oh, teeth are sharp. What is it, Bob? Come here, bring it here. Bring it here. Let me see. <laughs> Go get your brother. That's so adorable. Best friends forever. Go this way. <laughs> so 
So I'm gonna show you guys something kind of gross. Come on, folks. I'm gonna see if Elo notices it. Come here. What is that? What is that? Is that deer meat? He doesn't want anything to do with it, but the story behind that is we went to the processor. My mom said she wanted a carcass. What is that? <laughs> you know, try to lure in some coyotes so we could do a coyote hunt, but so far I don't think anything's touched it. It's pretty much just turned into like jerky. Jerky at this point. Gotta unload this deer meat, put it in the freezer. The steps. It's a heavy one. It's a heavy one. Let's go in. Come house! Yay! <laughs> so, again. Here is Mr. Buck. Mobile, you want to see him? What do you think? Is it deer? Deer meat. <laughs> yes, deer meat. Deer meat, boys. That's right. <laughs> Raise them young. So this head is going in the freezer as well because I'm going to do another Euro mount. Obviously, this buck is not massive or anything like that. I'm not claiming that it's super big. It holds a really special memory for me. That's why I like to preserve that aspect of it. Like it's, I will never forget that morning. And every time I look at that deer skull um, and those antlers, I will be brought back to that feeling I felt that morning. So it's an amazing hunt. I, I just like having it for memories. So I got about half and half deer burger ground up, some added beef fat in there. that they make at this processor oh it's so good I always get extra spicy and I use it for like sausage gravy you can put it in um, spaghetti like make meatballs steaks roasts and then tenderloins more deer steak that we live in in this world it feels so good to be stacking up the freezer right now but the only thing is if you really wanted to prepare you should probably do something like canning canning your deer meat jerking it um, freeze drying it I don't know something like that because what if something happened to electricity? You got no way to keep your meat cold. So maybe in the future, if I get really into doomsday prepping type stuff, which is unfortunately a kind of real situation that could happen. And then of course have your dried goods like rice and beans stocked up obviously your garden and your crops and um canning canning is a very useful tool to have done it done it a few times but never with actual meat i've canned 
vegetables, um, tomatoes, uh, pickles, that sort of stuff, but never done canned meat. So anyway, we'll save that for a whole nother episode, but oh, yes, my little wiggle butts, my little wiggle butts, yes. I love you guys. I love you boys. We're about to go back to town and I'm going to get cleaned up and ready to go to my grandma's house for Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm starving. You guys are getting a little sneak peek of the farmhouse right now too. It's looking so cute. My mom is really kind of taking over the decorating aspect. Hey guys, I promised you I would show you a clip of me taking my turkey out of the oven. I am hot and sweaty in here in the kitchen <laughs> i'm a little nervous though i mean it looks really good but it looks weird the way it's sitting check this out it looks absolutely delicious but for some reason this bird's chest just kind of really opened up at least there's pretty stuff inside but it definitely doesn't look like a butterball oh lord I no 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 I'm just it, you don't have to say anything but i just want to explain that my mom is doing the carving because i don't know how to carve the turkey yet but i did see this is i'm trying to just tell you hello right here mom just trying to tell you that i know you always cut it that way there's two of these here is that how you always cut it that way you cut it this way yeah i bet you cut the whole thing all first and then slice it thanks Perry. thank you yeah that is ridiculous grandma how do you carve a turkey I start right there. Do so you know. cut the whole thing off and then slice I it? I don't, but she You're might. Sit it over here. Might. She might. You I don't, don't, so you just slice one at a that's time. That's what I usually do. What do you do, Paula? Well, what I've done in that's the past is because it doesn't slice very oh nicely, God. I just start pulling it. I'm sweating. You Mom, do it. how is Stephanie <laughs> in the oven? I think so, Mom. Everybody yeah, I'm going to get this out of the way. I know, I'm just... <laughs> I swear to Jesus. Be careful. I'll cut it up. Oh my gosh. Dad, do you know how to carve a turkey? Well, maybe my future husband will be watching this and he'll be able to teach me. Wild turkey. Who is she talking to? Fruit from the insides. Homemade gravy by Grandma. Grandma! <laughs> Ham, mashed potatoes, my mom's famous Thanksgiving dressing, green bean casserole, more stuffing. What are those called? Candied yams or sweet potatoes? Sweet potatoes, candy yam. Sweet potatoes, candy yam. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 